Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to customize reports in QuickBooks 2019. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to jump right into it here. There's, uh, there's a lot of reports in QuickBooks, and there's so many different ways you can slice and dice them, and, and uh, the views you can show, uh, you can comment on reports, you can do all sorts of things, and so I want to go through that uh, here in QuickBooks 2019. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, if you go up to re the reports drop down menu, you're going to see all of these options. Okay, so first of all, a couple things on the drop down menu. If you go to report center, you're going to see all of these options in the report center. Okay, uh, and then, you know, so this is just a quicker way to maybe get to, let's say, your profit and loss standard. Uh, you know, or any of these other reports down here. But if, so if you click on Report Center, you're going to go to this section. I'll, I'll go there in just a second. You've got some memorized reports. These are reports that you've set up and memorized, scheduled reports that you have scheduled to run automatically, commented reports. Okay, you can process multiple reports. You can do a desktop statement writer, uh, which is a little bit more complicated, but you can set up your own reports. Uh, and then, of course, down here, you've got all the various reports that you can run in QuickBooks. And, and some of the report options that you're going to have are really going to depend on if you have an industry-specific uh, QuickBooks Premier version or if you have Pro. Uh, so you may see some different options here. Okay, so let's go to the Report Center. Okay, so generally you're going to run these reports after, let's say, you close a month or you close a year uh, or a quarter or whatever the case may be, okay? Or if you are reviewing your reports before you close the month to make sure that everything's recorded correctly, that everything looks okay, all right? But I want to show you, you know, some of this, obviously, I can't go through every single one of these reports. There's so many of them you're going to have to go in and see which ones uh, are beneficial to read for your business. All right. Okay. So we go to the report center. We've got, you know, some options up here. You've got the standard tab. Okay. These are all the standard reports. Okay. And as you can see, you can choose, you can either scroll down here and it's going to take you through all of these reports, or you can go directly to one of these sections and look at the different reports okay and I, I would say the good thing about QuickBooks 2019 is that uh, you've got tons and tons of report options when you compare this to QuickBooks online there's just so many more options and so much more flexibility okay so we're going to take first company and financial because one of the most uh, common reports is going to be a profit and loss okay so here you've got profit and loss standard, the detail, et cetera. So you've got all sorts of options here, just under standard reports. If you need to know what this report says or, or is or what it represents, you can click on info and it's going to tell you how much money did my company make or lose over a specific period of time. Okay, pretty straightforward. If you want to make this a favorite report, so this is something you run all the time or quite often, you can click Fave and it's going to put it in this Favorites uh, tab over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. You can, if you want, you can customize right here and say this month to date. Let's say that we want to make this uh, this year. Okay, we can do that and you'll see it's going to do the dates. You can also customize the dates by clicking on the dates. Okay, now you don't have to do this right here. You can just click run and you can make changes when you have the report up on your screen. Okay, so let me show you here. We've got the profit and loss up on the screen and you've got some options here. You can customize, you can comment, uh, you can memorize. So it saves it as a memorized report and you would do this if you do some customization to the report and you don't want to have to, you know, redo those customizations every single time. Okay. Print, email, you can export it to Excel. Uh, you can hide the header, collapse. Collapse just means it's going to collapse all of these sub accounts. Okay. So if I click collapse, you'll see it collapses all of those sub accounts. 
And so once you collapse, if you want to expand one of them, you can click the arrow right here, and it's going to expand all that detail. If you want to put that back, you can click that again. Okay, you can also, once it's expanded, you can also collapse just various sections if you want to, okay, and uh, show the detail that you want to. All right, so if we want to customize this report, first of all, if you have report basis, if you want to change it to cash, you can do that pretty seamlessly, and you'll see it says up here cash basis, okay, or accrual, uh, either way. And then if you want to customize this report, okay, once you click this button, you have a lot of options. Okay, so you see you've got the four tabs, display, filter, header, footer, fonts, and numbers. So you can change the date range here, or of course you can do it right up here. You can change the report basis here if you want to. You can display columns by total only. You can do it by month. Well, I'll show you what that looks like. You can add sub columns for previous period. Okay, so it's going to be, you know, the previous period. It could be last year, it could be last month, it could be same time period last year. You know, there's a few options there. You can do previous year. You can say, okay, year to date, what's the percent year to date? You know, so many different options here. So what I would suggest is you play around and you customize it to what you want it to say. Okay, it's very simple to do. Now, if we go over to the filters column, okay, so if you want to filter by anything, okay, it could be class, okay, you only want to show the new construction class, okay, you can do that. We're going to do all classes, okay. If you want to filter by the account, right now we've got all income and expense accounts. You can see here, you can do just credit cards, you know, liabilities, um, any one of these. You can do it for specific accounts, all right? If you want to do multiple accounts, you can check off which ones you want to do, okay? So again, you can filter this and slice and dice any way you want. And if you want to remove a filter, you can highlight it here and just click remove filter, all right? Header footer, okay, you can change the header. Uh, and the footer, and you can have it print or not print certain things. Alignment, you can change left, right, centered, standard. Okay, and then fonts and numbers. Okay, you can change the fonts. You can have the numbers show negative numbers in parentheses, maybe in bright red. You can show it without sense. Okay, so once you do all these customizations, you click OK. And so now you'll see we did it by month and we took out the sense, okay? And it's going to show you every single month for that entire year, all right? So again, if we want to collapse, we can collapse it and it makes it a little more readable. And if you want to expand something like payroll expenses, you can do that, okay? So again, you're going to have to go into the reports and customize them the way that you want to customize them, all right? So if I go back here, I'm going to change this back to total, all right? And I'm going to say previous year. I don't want to show any change. Well, let's say let's say a percent change, okay? So I click OK, and you'll see now that it's showing the year versus the other. All right, so if you want to memorize this report so you don't have to do this every single time, you can click Memorize. You can name it whatever you want, okay? So let's say prior year comparison. You can set up a group, okay, so that if you have certain memorized reports you want to save in a group, you can do that, and you can also share this with others. All right, so let's click OK, and now it's going to be a memorized report. Now, quickly, I want to go over if you want to comment on this report, okay, what you can do is you click that comment button, and then you can say, I want to comment on this. Wow, this went up a lot. Okay, so you save that comment, all right, and then, you know, when you go to close this report, you want to save it first, okay, save your commented report, okay, so generally this is going to come into play when you're uh, collaborating with somebody else, okay, they save the commented report, okay, so if I close this, and you can also print and email that as well. All right, so if I close that and I go to my report center, 
okay? If I go to, first of all, memorize, you're gonna see uh, the report that uncategorized, the one that I just did, profit and loss prior year comparison. And if you go to, uh, let's see, favorites, okay, there's no favorites, recent profit and loss standard, and contributed, which is a, an area where other users have contributed certain reports, okay? So you can play around with those as well. There's some different slicing, dicing, and setups there you can play around with. Now, the commented reports, if I want to go back to those, you can go to the report drop-down menu, click on commented reports, and you're going to see here's my commented report, okay? So you can display this, and it's going to show you the commented report. All right, so this is a really basic introduction to reports. A uh, little bit of a long video, but hopefully this gives you an idea of you know, when you go uh, into the report center, there's just so many options, okay? Pretty much endless in QuickBooks Desktop. All right, so play around with it. And uh, if you have any comments, any questions, feel free to leave them below uh, in the comments of the video. Head over to the QuickBooks University. I'd love to show you everything you need to know about QuickBooks and answer your personal questions when you sign up for the tutorials and become a member of the QuickBooks University. The website is qbuniversity.org.